Hi there and welcome back. Um, I just wanted to show you the fronts of, of these. I absolutely love them um, with, with these tassels, with these tassels on. And then we've got a lovely uh, side, side for you. So I'm going to do uh, the flip through of both of them. Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tati Treasures. Hello there. Um, so thank you so much to everybody that's um, been participating and watching all the um, Daisy videos. It's started off as a four-week Facebook uh, challenge and uh, yeah, we've carried, carried it on um, and we've now produced, um, well, I have <laughs> two two journals and um, I will be doing two altar file folders next with the rest of um, the ephemera that's that's left. Um, I've absolutely loved this project. You're probably sick of airing me. It's been a beautiful uh, kit to work with. Um, up, up until now, um, Nanine's lilac, uh, rustic lilac kit was um, my favourite. Um, and yeah, I think it's now the daisy. Um, absolutely beautiful, lovely colours. It's got a really nice tone. Felt very relaxed um, doing it with a little bit of a, a playful, um, you know, vibe to it. So yeah, it's been lovely. So let's start off with the flower fairy uh, daisy. It was a cutie. Um, so. The material on the front is William Morris material. Um, we've got this lovely um, lace down, down the side. Um, and then we've made these um, elastic closures, which I really do like um, these. I should definitely be using these as, as closures quite quite a lot. Um, I prefer it to, to you know, tying a, tying a bow around. I think it's just um, finished off nicely. And you know it it grows grows with you, and if it got too chunky, you could obviously um undo it and um and re retie it off so we made these fabulous um tassels. I love these um to me that just is daisy it's meadows it's you know little daisies popping popping out through through your grass um and yeah, I think i've the colour is uh, is just right. Um, yeah, every time I, I say that, I just think of Alna when I said, what does that remind you of? And she just looked at me, gone out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to me, that, that is Daisy. So it's just fastened on uh, with this uh, bulldog clip, um, which obviously can be, be taken, taken off. Um, I can really see why people like them, especially uh, people who, who have the journal standing, standing up. Um, it it really does uh, finish finish it off lovely. So I just put that to to one side. Like I say, we've got the lovely um, lace on it, and um, yeah, it's all been sewn around. I have aged uh, the sides a bit. It is, um, you know, um, but. I like it like that. It's I like that little bit of of grunge, um, and then on here we've got some beautiful beads with like some gold uh, running through. They are only plastic beads. These are uh, glass beads, and then we've got that charm on the front. So really easy to take on on and off. Um, that's the side uh, view with all those little tabs and and charms so let's let's open open her up so you will have seen you know if you've watched you'll have seen all these things being made so this was with a small uh lunch bag and we've just got a tag nice little pocket there and then obviously this one um expands out i really love paper bag pockets there's something something about them um we've got this lovely tag here and we made um, a small um, notebook, which I can't find. <laughs> it's in here. 
um, a little notebook. I've just got some tea stained uh, paper in. And um, yeah, it's still quite slim in profile. You could definitely, uh, you know, get get more in it if, if you wanted uh, more in it. But, um, so that goes there. Um, we've got the uh, paper from the kit on the inside and then we've got a piece of vellum which is one of the sheets from from the kit okay this first page and then this has got a lace tab on with with a charm on which has got um a dragon fly on it which keeps flying flying off okay we've just got a kit pocket here and then a little bit of a collage pocket uh, tag there so that goes in there we've got a nice music sheet with a nice lace edging uh, down the side and we've got um, a scrappy edging and then uh, one of the Tim Holtz wild flowers that's some of the aged um, tape that I made I must do some more of that and you know keep it on a sheet so I have stenciled this one uh, faintly with um, a leaf stamp and I've done it in bamboo stalk which is a memento ink and I've done that through throughout on all the tea stained uh, papers I've got a book page here with a little um, cluster and then we've got a little tab there and one of the scrappy edge um, tabs there and we've got this uh, glassine envelope which um, I did all sprays and stamping on it feels absolutely lovely and then I think we've just got two little um, journal tags in there and then we've got another one from from the kit Okay, these main pages are printed on 160 uh, GSM. And we've got some ledger type paper here with one of their old paper clips on them. And then I've got a little um, snippety thing there. I haven't done it as a tuck because this paper is quite, quite thin. Again, we've got the, the stencil in on both sides. And we've got this envelope, which I did seal up because um, it went quite uh, fragile. It's all embossed um, and I did the, the spraying and um, stenciling and stamping on that. Absolutely love that colour. And um, it's got some, some shimmer on there, which shines lovely. And we've got this lovely collage. Then I've put a pocket into the back part. Um, put some collage at the back and I did this on a trash uh, Tuesday it was some um, it was at the back of a packet of stickers so I just popped that on it and covered uh, the back so that's that one and then I've just put a little bit of something on there with some lace uh, underneath it so I've got this tea bag uh, pocket here with some beads on. Um, little simple um, tag. I have sewn uh, most of the tags and things, but there is the odd thing that's in there what I haven't um, sewn. So I've just got some dotted paper there, more tea stain paper with the stenciling on. I've got this um, envelope pocket here. And on here I did some inking and um, grunged it, grunged it up and a little bit of collage there and then at the back I don't know I didn't do anything I thought I didn't know if I'd kept that as a tuck but I haven't it's just um, just a nice collage and I've got a kit page here with one of the um, tab, oh, tab sides on which uh, the bells just fell <laughs> <laughs> fell off I did tell you I'm I'm not the greatest at, um, at jewelry making so if if something falls off I'm very sorry um, you'll probably have to if you're better at jewelry than me you'll probably have to just go around and, and tighten everything 
everything up so <laughs> that's that's that one um then we've got this belly band here um i was gonna say let's add stamped and um you know stained it and that but i haven't that's um some paper from victoria designs what was out my scrap uh box so this will be a, a, a tatty treasure trashy tuesday and then we've got um a william morris postcard there which i've inked inked around we've got another one of the altered uh paper clips there with a little butterfly enamel charm on and I've just put a snippet uh there this paper's absolutely lovely this is uh an end of a of a book paper and it's it's ribbed i've got some greaseproof paper here with a material ruffle and then we've just got a washi tape and a and a sticker um on there and then we've got a lovely book page with some beautiful writing got a little fabric cluster there and a daisy and i've just put a little bit of something down there got a nice fabric cluster on there and we've got the paper bag uh, pocket, which I absolutely love. Um, I know a lot of you uh, did like this video and um, yeah, liked how, how simple it was. It's it's a brilliant pocket, I love it. Um, little bit of something there. And then we've got the other side of the envelope. I did make that one into a tuck and this is a, a flip up writing spot and a writing spot at the back and in here got this lovely journal card from another one of uh, kits from Nanine I can't remember uh, which one it is but I did think that that went lovely with this kit I've done some splodgy ink in there again we've got some stenciling with dotted paper that's an opening journal card that's pocket from my porch prints and um, that's the other side of, of the embossed envelope and I just put um, a little bit of uh, writing paper on there it is a bit tight that is but it's it's fine you just have to feed it down a little bit more stenciling a little bit of something down there and up there and then oh I love this um that's another dyed splashy piece that that I did and got a little card there and a little Rolodex card so that's that and in here I've got an envelope from the kit and oh two cards I'll just put a sticker on that one and then that one so even the ones that i didn't you know sew around completely i just uh put a line on and i really like that uh look because sometimes you know when you've made something then you think oh i'm gonna sew sew over it so but well i'll just sew sew one side of it so so <laughs> so 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 <laughs> that's that one <laughs> now we've got the the middle tab which has got a, a daisy on which i patinaed um got a tea stained pocket there what i've done some inking and stamping on and it's sewn a little bit of collage that's the um decoupage tags that we did on camera another book page with a scrappy tab more stenciling um this lovely um border here page edging which i've left open that side so it's just got two little um journal cards from the kit and we've got this lace and beads down there and this pocket here with this tag that's got some nice collage so that's that one and turn it over got a little tuck there and then we've got this tag with the stamping and then we've got that acetate piece there uh, the vellum and then on the back page, we've got another one of the bag pockets that we made. And these have got the pieces from your creative uh, studio. I thought they went lovely uh, with this daisy kit. There's another one in here. 
like so and then i've put um another notebook in which is from a glassine uh, bag that's open i've not put anything in it um that's the same stenciling as what's uh through the journal then we've just got some tea stained paper so that's that's that so that is the the first uh one so we'll go through the next one a little bit a little bit quicker so it's very very uh similar so this is um a tassel for this one it's got lots of buttons through it this has got more buttons than than beads but there's still still beads and and a bell again it's on with a, a clip keep that that side just so i remember um and that's the tassel um close closure for for that one they're really lovely beads so we'll pop, pop that off yeah. Um, this is some lovely uh, fabric. I forget what fabric it is. I did say um, when I did the video. And it's on some burlap with a bit of collage. I mod podged over it just to um, give it some protection. And it's got a little charm and the word daisy there. Got the same lace on, on this one. And again, it's been sewn around and it's grungy and it's frayy. <laughs> and that's the so again we've got the paper bag uh pocket uh with a tag got the vellum got this first uh tab that's got a leaf on it and we've got a decoupage um tag there that beautiful uh lace um i think that's from it's from an Aninka, so I think it's the William Morris uh, kit. And we've got this lace and daisy, uh, what we made. And then we've got one of the scrap um, sides there with the Tim Holtz. This one, um, I've done it with the Peanut Brittle, which is a momentous ink. And I've used the Tim Holtz, um, what looks a bit like a, a daisy um kind of doily uh, print so I've done that on all the tea stained pages I've got one of the scrappy um, tabs on that side and we've got this lovely uh, belly band what's made from a time card and that's one of the lovely uh, postcards from the lost world the lost words thought that went really really nice love that background i think that's my favorite color <laughs> <coughs> excuse me then we've got this um altered paper clip there with a pretty lace and a bow a little bit of something there on on some lace some more stenciling um that's the the envelope and again we've got a postcard this is a tea stained uh, one okay some collage around it and we've got this tea stained pocket with a little cluster on and then simple tag and I just put um, a cluster on the middle so that's that one more stenciling um, got the envelope here oh that doesn't do that I've left that you know it's so the envelopes upside down um, so it creates two pockets and I've just kept that like like that okay then we've got we've got this middle tab which has got um, a daisy and that's one of the pockets from my porch prints got a double uh, journal card another one of the paper clips there then we've got a scrappy uh, side with some uh, dice from Tim Holtz got this lovely daisy here with the tapes that I used from uh, stationery pal got a nice book page with beautiful writing I've got material ruffle there sewn ruffle and the tape and 
and a little daisy sticker there. Got a snippet, ticket snippet on there. I've not put anything on there. Let's, um, let's just put a bit of something, something on there. We'll just pop that, that stamp there. And then to the right, we've got this uh, library pocket. I do have those um, in, in my shop. Um, I think, I don't know if, I think they're sets of five. So you get five pockets and five um, library cards. And the tea stain, lovely. And um, even though I tea stain them and dried them off in my earring cupboard, um, there's a sticky bit at the back, what you pull off. Um, that was still really very sticky. Done some beautiful collage. I really do love this. Um, I think that's really pretty. So that's that one. They've been sewn. And we've got the other side of the envelope. And I think this is a double. Okay. How oh, beautiful. Let's have that, that side lot. She's beautiful. Um, lots of inking and splodging and things on that. More stenciling. We've got some collage on that. We've got this dotted paper. Then we've got this paper bag here. And a little uh, fabric cluster there. That's the other side of the envelope. And we've got that one on that. And a little ticket cluster on that. Oh, I've not put anything on these, crikey. So I've that on there. And Ooh. it's a bit big, isn't it? Because you could write on right on there. Oh, I put that on there. So I'll do that um after. So we've got that there, little uh, side tuck. Then we've got the um, glassine envelope there, just two kit tags. And I think that's a double, a double one. Okay, got stencil in. And then again, we've got the little uh, material band there with two little um, journal cards. Got his lace trim and his pearly trim there. Got uh, a cluster there, and then the tea bag uh, pocket with uh, the beads on, and a couple of little. Oh, look at that! <laughs> A little double one as well. Then we've got ticking um, material and a little burlap uh, flower. Yep. And then on this side we've got the uh, bottom tab and that's got a little uh, bee on it and the vellum. And then as uh, I want to call it a tea bag pocket, um, paper bag pocket, and in here. Um, this is a paper bag. Um, looks like a, a, a glassine. Um, no, like a baking paper. Um, so there's a opening there, and it's got tea stained paper in. So that's that. I like that. That's one of the windows from Nanine, and then I've put some Edith Holden um, at the back. So that um, is, is both of those. So thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Wednesday. No, I'm not doing Trash Tuesday um, this week because um, I'm going to get straight on um, and do the altered file folders. So um, tomorrow will be um, the Daisy altered file folders. So I do hope that you join me uh, for that. So thank you very much and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now.